when we are down in the monarch sanctuaries of Mexico, we're always hoping for those warm, sunny days to get the butterflies to burst from the trees and soar by the millions. Cloudy days are frankly what the monarchs want. They want to be cool. They want to be relatively dormant, but it can be a little less exciting when you don't see them flying in great numbers. However, one incredible silver lining of cloudy days is that you have a better chance of seeing the predatory birds in the monarch sanctuaries. These are two different bird species that will actually eat the monarchs. They've figured out a way to bypass their, their toxins, these cardiac glycosides. And earlier this year in 2024, I got one of the most exciting days in the monarch sanctuaries on a cloudy day. And the reason is that, as we saw, a group, a actual small flock of black-headed grosbeaks going to town on the monarchs. Now, yes, in some ways, this is kind of sad to see because it does mean monarchs are being eaten, they are dying. But as you'll see from these clips, it was one of the more extraordinary, shocking, stunning, clear views I've ever had of this behavior. Something that I've studied about, written about known about for a long time, but I never got this clear of a view in my life. And it was certainly one I'll remember for the rest of my life. You can see here in this video, you actually have not one, but two gross beaks perched in the monarchs. And the monarchs are actually sensing this bird. It's purported that the small amount of CO2 of their breath is enough to get the monarchs to sense their presence and scramble. They're way of scrambling is just to fall from the trees, almost like fall leaves floating through the air. You can see here that they are scattering, they're moving away, but the bird knows better. The bird is going after them. They're taken one by one. And in the course of this time, we were watching these birds go through. They must have eaten a dozen different monarch butterflies. So it is bittersweet. However, this is what's happening naturally. This is mother nature. These birds have found a way around. They've evolved a way of bypassing the toxins to make a meal out of the monarch butterflies. And so even though it was a cloudy day and we're not getting that extraordinary show of butterflies flying by the millions, we saw what I still believe to this day, one of the most special, extraordinary, stunning sights in the butterfly colonies of Mexico.